hi everyone um, today I'm getting my chicken so I'm supposed to get them I called the guy but he wasn't answering his phone so it gives me a little bit of time to get ready uh, it's been raining all morning and this afternoon is sunny so it's like it's never rained there was a little change my wife and I decided to make the net make the fence on the side a little bit better a little bit sturdier better quality not just this uh, woven mesh so the plan for the chickens has changed not long ago I have cleaned up this area this this room here and um, it's like I have a little small door or small for for the chickens to come in and out what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little mesh door so I can lock them up at night and I need to fix a little bit around these existing doors. There is gaps and I, I don't want something to come in and uh, kill them. So that will be my priority. Uh, I'm probably gonna leave the chickens in there for a day or two once I get them so they get used to their home. And then they'll be outside. Um, when I finish that, I'll be making a little enclosure for the outside for them. And I think that should be good enough. My chainsaw is here, I bought it, um, don't have to cut everything by hand now, but I still have to improvise because I'm missing still a lot of, lot of tools. Got three male goose and uh, one female, and um, they have actually started fighting a little bit. I'm thinking of getting rid of one, one male or buying more females, what do you guys think? Let's, let's have a little vote and and decide what I do. Do I buy more goo goose geese or do I uh, get rid of at least one boy? I'm still improvising. I know it can be done better, quicker, prettier, but this is all the tools I have. Um, I'm not gonna spend my money or waste my money on tools that I already have that are gonna come here. So this will have to do for now. Uh, I just got a phone call from the guy. I have to, I'm going to pick up the chickens. I'll just mount this door somehow, just to see how it's gonna look like and what I have to do with it. And uh, then we go pick up the chickens. I've just bent some nails and uh, I'm just gonna twist them with pliers or by hand for today or for now. This is perfect. Um, let's go get the chickens. It will have to do till I get some hinges or something for this. They're finally here. Very happy. I'll go give them some food, get some water ready for them and then I'll show you. Those chickens are five and a half months old. They are point of lay. So they can start laying eggs any day now. Um, they're of course a little bit skittish, but that's okay. Give them a couple of days. I'll keep them in here for a couple of days so they know this is their home before I let them out. This will give me a little bit of time to sort out the outside as well. Um, they have black tails white ears and their legs should be white not yellow the eggs of these chickens are a little bit smaller than the normal chicken but they have no cholesterol in them so they're really really healthy eggs uh, and apparently the the meat is really great tasting so we'll see what happens or 
we'll see how we go. I'm gonna 100% uh, get some eggs to hatch and then uh, hopefully the males, the extra males I have obviously will have to eat them. I'm not gonna scare them anymore, I'm gonna go outside, let them, let them settle in. Um, they have enough water, they have enough food, so they should be fine for at least a couple of days without me even walking in here. I've just made them nice and safe, nothing can eat them. Uh, tomorrow I'll make this um, enclosure for them for the outside. Ivan has actually won the first place on the show for the, with those chickens or with some of them. So I'm getting a really, really quality, quality chicken. Um, really, really like the best from the best, um, which I'm really grateful and happy about. Sun is set, setting as, as well. Um, that's all for me for today. So I hope to you enjoyed the video and I see you in the next one. Bye.